Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. All right, guys, so thank you again for um, just being patient and understanding that we didn't have hot, messy topics today. Um, had something going on that I had to go attend to. So I appreciate you, but we do have all the pre-records coming your way, as you know. But I just wanted to get into this uh, drama a little bit. We know that Bethany Frankel, especially after her interview with NeNe Leakes, and Rachel, and the Reality Reckoning, and NBC issuing new guidelines that came out from Deadline, we knew that she was going to be pissing off Andy Cohen, right? We knew that. Well, Andy Cohen has spoke up. He's spoken up. And we're going to talk about it. Smash that like button. Show some love. Here we go. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys. So now listen to this. Andy Cohen seemingly shaded Bethany Frankel as hypocritical amid her claims against the network. The Real Housewives of New York star then slammed their former friendship, suggesting their friendship was more of a game. And she shared why she didn't previously burn down the house. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Recently, Bethany called for a reality TV union, as you guys know, indicating that Bravo is mistreating its stars. On his Andy Cohen live show on SiriusXM, shared in a clip by at RateMyBravo on Instagram, Andy seemed to throw a little bit of shade at his former colleague. Actually, what he said was, you are as hypocritical as a former housewife that's been making a lot of noise about Bravo lately. I don't want to just um, put that out there. I'm going to play that for you, and then we're going to talk about it some more. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Andy is not happy with you, Beth. Not happy. During his morning radio show, Andy said, same thing. You committed Do a crime. Not. And you're you are, you you are as hypocritical as a former housewife that's, that's been making true. a lot of noise about Bravo lately. No, I am not hypocritical. Okay. I, I own yes. what I say. Uh, I think that you committed do a not. crime, and you are you are you are as hypocritical as a former housewife that's, that's been making true. a lot of noise about Bravo lately. No, I am not. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we got to get back into it because I'm like, uh, you know, Bethany is going to respond to this like 100. She will be responding to this on some sort of TikTok something. It's coming. But wait, 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 wait. We're not done. So after the diss, Bethany addressed her relationship with Andy on her "Just Be with Bethany Frankel" podcast. The truth is, I never burned the Bravo house down because I thought maybe I'd go back into the house. That's what she said. She went on to say that she believed that she and Andy were kind of really friends because they would text back and forth. But she admitted that she only visited his place once and the only conversations that they had were housewives related. Now, according to Bethany, she feels like they kind of don't like each other and they were both playing a game. She then expressed her belief that Andy doesn't truly celebrate her. Uh, not her, not her accomplishments. And he has resentment because Bethany is supposed to be beneath him. And even though they both came up at the same time, well, she's not. I'm thinking, I don't think he likes me at all. That's what she said. And she said she was protecting Andy for all of those years. But he hasn't been protecting her. I know I played this for you guys earlier on um, part two, I believe, of the Nini and Bethany situation, but I want to play it for you guys again, because I think that it's really important for you guys to listen to. Here we go. I'm going to play it one more time. Thank you to Bywig. Hello drama. They're giving us all the content today. I never burned the house down because I thought maybe I'd go back into the house. Like I, I and I don't mean burn the house down by a reckoning. Cause I didn't even yeah. think of it. I mean, I think this whole time I thought that Andy and I were kind of really friends because we text back and forth, but yeah, we don't really, I don't, I've been to his house once for a Christmas party 10 years ago. We're not really, every time we're together, we're only talking about the housewives. Am I coming on? Am I going off? Is that person mm -hmm. getting fired? Is that person coming on? Like yes. we're not really, you know what your real yeah. friends are like. So now I'm in this hybrid world where I think we kind of really don't like each other, but we're both playing this game. And yet when things are happening for me, he's not really congratulating me. And like, I feel like he has some sort of resentment 
you know, because I'm supposed to be beneath him because we both came up at the same time. He was just, he was barely a host and he was working at Bravo and we came up at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, I don't think he likes me at all. I think we've both been playing this game for all this time. And one day I decided to just not be afraid and open my fucking mouth because the only person I was protecting in that whole realm was him. And he hasn't been protecting me. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and the truth is. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get back into and in this part of it, but I, yay, yay. So Bethany really essentially said she never burned the house down because she maybe would have went back into it. And Andy Cohen never congratulates her when she does stuff because Andy Cohen resents her. She was protecting Andy Cohen, but Andy Cohen wasn't protecting her. It almost makes it sound like Andy Cohen is this like jealous trifling person who is trying to just control all of the women and make sure that he is daddy and make sure that he is at the top of the rankings. And I get that he is at the head of everything, but people do understand that Bravo and the network in NBC, it is bigger than Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen can be removed tomorrow. I mean, would he still get a paycheck? I don't know his contract. I don't know the deals. I'm sure. But he right now is the face of Bravo. Eventually, that's going to phase out. He's not going to be the face forever. You can see how things are changing and people are giving a lot of backlash towards Andy Cohen. And it's just, it's something that is literally, I'm going to say he probably has another five years in his chair at most. And he probably only wants another five years in his chair because he has kids. He has been, and I think it's Lucy. I'm not sure, but he has kids. I think that right now with what Bethany is doing and what some of the other reality stars are signing up for, the ones who are signed up on the shows currently and have contracts, they want nothing to do with it, which makes a lot of sense because they want to keep their paychecks. I get that. And then the ones who haven't actually gotten contracts and have been kicked off their shows, they have taken their self out of the realm and they're just like, oh yeah, sign us up because we want residuals. We want to be a part of something. When in all actuality, when Bethany was explaining that she signed up and she was talking about this for a second, I want to explain this. She was talking to Nini about how her and Nini signed up for a show to be on one network. They didn't know about Hey You. They didn't know about peacock they didn't know about hulu and all of these streaming services and they were paid for example like 7500 for the first season but then all of a sudden she used the analogy of like taking a chicken and like i'm the wing you're the broth and like you're cutting this chicken up and uh, dipping it up 500 different ways and you're getting paid from all of these streamers and we're getting nothing the thing that i have to tell you is is you signed a contract. So even if you feel like you should be paid, you're not going to get paid. The people who, there's going to be no back pay. If anything, if they're able to accomplish this, there will be pay for the future reality TV stars, which maybe that's the goal and she already understands that. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I want to hear your opinions about this. Go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you.